Hello everyone, a warm welcome to the Smart Market Insights here on Kalkine TV. I'm Sage and today we'll be shining some light on 10 ASX stocks with the best past year returns on the ASX 200. The selected stocks have given over 50% returns to their shareholders till the 3rd of May 2022. Let's take a look at them one by one. First on the list is IVE Group. IVE Group operates in the consumer discretionary sector. The firm operates through four divisions, Kalido, Perito Group, Blue Star and IVO. The stock has given a return of 50.36% in the past year as of May 3rd. IVE shares are currently trading at $1 Australian 92 cents, up by 0.52%. IVE's revenue grew by 12.2% for the six months to December 31st, 2021. Net profit after tax was up 99% on the corresponding prior period to 20.9 million Australian dollars. And second on the list is Incitec Pivot, which is an Australian multinational corporation that manufactures fertilizers and explosive chemicals besides offering mining services. The stock has given a return of 50.49% in the past year as of May 3rd. IPL shares are currently trading at $3.94, down by 0.51%. And Incitec recently informed the ASX that it had restarted production at its US-based Wagaman ammonia plant. The company further said that the recommencement of the plant is likely to have a positive impact on its earnings. Let's move on to the third and on our list appears Tower Limited. Tower is a New Zealand based insurance company which provides fire and general insurance. The stock has given a return of 51.07% in the past year as of Tuesday and TWR shares are currently trading 1.67% higher. Tower completed its capital return of about 28.3 million Australian dollars to its shareholders in March. Some exciting news from them. And moving on to the next, Monash IVF provides reproductive services. Particularly IVF in Australia and has many labs with cost-effective fertility treatment options. The stock has given a return of 51.24% in the past year as of May 3rd. And MVF shares are currently trading up 1.22%. In the first half of the 2022 financial year, the company reported a 11.7% increment in net profit after tax. In the second half of 2022, MVF plans to commission a new IVF clinic in Singapore. And moving along again, Turaco Gold, formerly Manas Resources Limited, which is an ASX-listed gold exploration company focused on Ivory Coast-based projects. Stock has given a return of 51.67% in the past year as of Tuesday. And TCG shares closed the day's trade at Australian $0.091 on May the 4th. On the 3rd of May, Taranko Gold announced that it had received encouraging results from its ongoing auger program undertaken at the Tongon North Gold project. And we'll now take a quick break. On the other side of the break, we'll have more stocks for you. About five more on the list, so please stay with us. Crypto talk by Kalkine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors, Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Kalkine. Hello, welcome back to the Smart Market Insights show here on Calkine TV. I'm Sage and let's make our way through the remaining stocks on the list of 10. So, moving on to the sixth stock on the list, Challenger Limited. Now, Challenger is an investment management firm focusing on providing Australians with financial security and retirement. The stock has given a return of 52.01% in the past year as of May 3rd. And CGF shares are 
currently trading 2.21% higher. Challenger recently revised its fiscal guidance towards the upper end of 430 to 480 million Australian dollars after sales jumped 10% in the third quarter of the financial year 2022. And the seventh stock on the list is ReadyTech Holdings. ReadyTech offers people management software for educators, employers and facilitators of career transitions to complete payroll, human resource admin and work health and safety management ecosystem. The stock has given a return of 52.4% in the past year as of Tuesday. And RDY shares closed the day's trade at $3.20 Australian on the 4th of May. In March, ReadyTech announced that it would buy online recruitment management company Phoenix HRIS for 3.3 million Australian dollars. Eighth stock on the list, we're getting through it guys, Petra Therm. Petra Therm together with its subsidiaries is engaged in mineral exploration activities. The stock's given a return of 53.33% in the past year. As of May the 3rd, PTR shares are currently trading 4.76% higher. The company's stock focused a couple of weeks ago after it announced that a recent rotary air blast drilling in South Australia had revealed significant rare earth occurrences. Interesting find there. And the ninth stock on the list is Garda Property Group. Garda Property invests in commercial and industrial properties and other associated assets. The stock has given a return of 53.48% in the past year as of May the 3rd. And GDF shares are currently trading 0.60% higher in the December half of financial year 20. 22, Garda Properties net profit rose 520% to 64.74 million. And the last stock on the list is Golden Deeps. And Golden Deeps is an exploration company that is into discovering and developing mineral deposits. Stock's given a return of 54.55% in the past year as of May the 3rd. GED shares traded 1.7 cents and uh, Australian at 10.32 a.m. On the 5th of May, that's today, and in February, Golden Deeps informed the ASX that it had hit high-grade copper vanadium-led mineralisation at the Nozib Block Prospect in Namibia. So that was the list. Very worthwhile information to share indeed. There's some great returns from those companies on the ASX 200. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, and our Smart Markets Insights show for today. Keep watching till the next one, which will appear tomorrow. Until then... Do stay safe and enjoy your day of trading. Sage signing off for now.